Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm Heather, also known as Heathwitch, and I'm a practicing witch who likes reviewing witchy items such as books, tarot decks and subscription boxes. I'm back with another unboxing video for Witch Casket. This is the September 2020 Witch Casket. I do not know the theme yet. For anybody unfamiliar with Witch Casket, this is a UK monthly subscription box for witches and pagans. And the way that they work is you never quite know the theme until you receive the box and open it. Now, none of my videos so far have been sponsored by which casket in any way shape or form i do get these as my paid monthly subscription so i'm just doing this out of the joy of unboxing videos and the love that i have for this particular product this is actually my um first anniversary box for which casket it was september 2019 when i first subscribed and I am enjoying all the boxes that I've had thus far. I felt that they are really good value for money and also give lots of interesting and useful items. So let's have a look at the September 2020 theme. Now, Witch Casket, as I said, is a UK company. You can find them at witchcasket.co.uk and they do ship internationally. And this month, the theme is Cleansing Magic. Now, in every box, you get this lovely booklet that explains what everything is in the box. But I never look at these first. I always explore the box and then go to the booklet at the end. So I'm just going to put this to one side for now. And one of the things that I always talk about in my Witch Casket videos is how I love the branding for each box. Because each box has its own unique aesthetic as well as being kept to the Witch Casket overall branding. And what I mean by that is each box it has different colours and different symbols and overall aesthetic and vibe appropriate to that box, but also within the remits of Witch Casket themselves. So, for example, the um, self-love box that we got in February was all pink and black. The um, moon magic one that we had recently was all black and silver and so on so this is cleansing magic and i'm already loving this rustic um craft paper style um brown and black aesthetic and the first item we have is an art print by lisa schilling who is at maybe.liz from the looks of things and this is a lovely um print of a crystal ball with a hand obviously of the witch or the diviner looking into it and also an eye and some clouds looking back we've got this dark cloud in the background we've got some clouds here and you know if it's cleansing magic then you know the, the need for divination to actually help us identify the areas in which we need to cleanse the need for divination for us to identify whether that spell really is a good idea but also the need for us to get really clear about our intentions and our mindsets and our emotional health and spiritual health so i really like this a lot yes okay so first off in the box we have a pre-ritual cleansing kit uh, contains everything you need to prepare your space for magic now, what I like about the ritual kits and the spell kits that we get in Witch Casket boxes is they are great for beginners. They're great for somebody who just wants to give something a try. And they're also fab for more established practitioners who maybe need something quick in a hurry in the sense of they don't have time to put together a load of um, items from their own personal supplies, but they know they've got a kit ready made for them. And it also means that, you know, the same applies if you're low on time, low on energy. But it also means that you can take this as a bare bones and add to it with your own preferred um, items, herbs, spices and so on. Um, so let's open this up. And in here we have... Da -da -da. We have some incense cones in a pretty organza baggie. 
we have herb which looking at it i think it's rosemary i think it's rosemary and i love the fact that the bags are biodegradable everything all the packaging with which casket is all biodegradable recyclable vegan friendly etc they've really thought about this um which i love so 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 much so we've got some rosemary there we've got some incense cones we have what looks like a soft reusable um, cotton cloth pad thing. It's soft on one side, a bit rougher on the other. And what does this say? So on one side it says cleansing and we have a broom and a, and a cauldron. I love that. And on this side, it says you will need rosemary. There we go. Dragon's blood incense, soft cloth. Pour boiling water over the rosemary. Use for protection and cleansing. Allow to infuse and cool. Wash your hands in the rosemary infusion. Light your incense. We've got a chant for how to cleanse your space. And any tools which will not be affected by water can be cleansed with this soft cloth. Lovely. Now, what I would also say about this is, of course, you know, smoke cleansing, very, very appropriate and useful. I would also say that, you know, this is a really nice cloth. So I could see myself actually using this for um, facial and body uh, cleansing. You know, whether it be in rosemary infused water or a blend of, you know, you could add roses to this or some other flower that you found appropriate. Um, and give yourself a nice, you know, wipe down with a with a damp cloth or something, you know. There's a reason why ritual baths are so important in, in witchcraft, because, you know, we carry a lot of gunk around every day, you know. Even, even in the world that we live in today, you know, even if we're not getting out as much, seeing people as much because of the global pandemic and stuff, you know, we carry a lot of negative energy day to day. You know, we're in, you know, we're hearing what the news has to say. We're reading it online, social media, all of those sorts of things. You know, so it's very important for you to cleanse not only your, your ritual space, but also yourself prior to ritual. And this is why in a lot of books, particularly when I was first really getting into um, the craft and really starting to read heavily about it, which is several decades ago now but still um there was a lot of um importance placed on ritual bathing before actually casting spells and stuff and then there seemed to be a trend where that was pushed aside in favor of smoke cleansing particularly before all the um awareness came about regarding cultural appropriation there was a lot of Oh, a smudge smudging will de deal with that. Now we we know smudging is a closed practice. We know that that's not something that you know white Western um, witch practitioners, magical practitioners, etc., can just pick up because we are not of that lineage. We are not of that culture. So smoke cleansing, particularly with herbs that are appropriate and native to your own area and your own culture, fantastic for this. Um, but I would still say ritual bathing has its place, you know, particularly when we are imbibing as much as we are in terms of negative energy that's going on at the moment. And if you don't have a bath, then a ritual shower, um, you know, with some salt, I would definitely include salt in all of this, um, in your bath water, in your shower itself, mix a little, um, muslin baggie of rosemary and salt and whatever else you want to add to it hang it in your shower stall things like that very 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 useful for cleansing yourself pre-ritual and i like this kit for cleansing your tools as well because you know even when you have if you are lucky enough to have an established space for your um magic then even though that space that's mm, get your words out, even though that space exists, doesn't mean that your tools are going to be cleansed all the time. You know, they're, they're not self-cleansing. They will need regular um, cleaning, purifying, etc. between spell work. 
particularly if that spell work varies dramatically. Like, you know, if you do both beneficent and baneful magic, then that's a huge difference. So definitely cleansing of tools. Anyway, that's a lovely kit to get someone going with that. Next, we have a little bag for curiosities. Fab. So I could see myself putting crystals in this, herbs in this, resins in this. I could see myself making up a little bag of day-to-day -day witchy things that I would carry about with me when I go out and about, or I could just see myself folding it up and stuffing it in a pocket. And then when I'm out in the woods at any point, out in nature at any point, and I do want to forage for something, or I find some stones or whatnot, I would definitely use this. Now, there was a foraging bag in last month's... Was it last month's or the months before? I can't quite remember which month it was. That was solar magic, sun magic. But there was a foraging bag in that. So, you know, that both of these items could go really well together for, you know, impromptu foraging and stuff. And I love the whole crafty, rustic, brown, natural earthiness of this month's box so far. So next we have tea. We normally get tea in a box. Sometimes it's coffee, but it's usual tea, usually tea. And... Um, this is Ayurvedic calming tea, a relaxing caffeine free blend of sweet and spicy herbs and fruits. Now, I do know that I have received an email from Witch Casket saying that the ingredients listed in the booklet for this month are not the same as the ingredients in the tea. So if anyone is watching this and is a subscriber and didn't get that email, then get in touch with Witch Casket in case you're worried in case of allergies. But otherwise, you know, enjoy your tea. I'm certainly looking forward to it. Um, okay, so nearly, I think it's every month, if not most months, we get an enamel pin. This time we have got a cleansing candle. Black for cleansing. Yeah, banishing um, negative energies, etc. Beautiful. I love enamel pins. I have got quite a collection now, not just from Witch Casket, but elsewhere as well. So this will go on my witchy pin flag, which is going to shortly become two witchy pin flags at this point because I'm running out of room. Not that I'm complaining. I love this, though. I love the simplicity of the candle. You could use this for so many things. And of course, you know, you could empower this, use it as a talisman or an amulet for... for um, well, more like a talisman, use it for a talisman for, um, you know, self-cleansing or, or reminding yourself to uh, cleanse psychically if you need a reminder. So, yeah, lovely. Next is what looks to be, let's have a look, take the card out, two clear quartz points they're lovely as well similar sized similar weight very clear there's a few inclusions in some of them just up there you can see some inclusions and down here in this one you can see some as well I don't know what these are for. Let's have a look. Using your crystals. Which casket exclusive recharging crystal point set? Okay, right. Yes, I see what you're getting at. Okay, yeah. Left hand, right hand. Okay, so you would use this to create a circuit of energy and expel negative energy out from your body um, on, a, on an energetic level. Let's see what it says. Sit or stand comfortably, relax, take a few breaths. Holding the first points away from your body in your right hand, point facing outwards, second point facing inwards in your left hand, and the magical recharging energy of the quartz flow through your body and out. So it's basically you're just creating an, um, a, it's a focus for an energetic circuit that you would then push the energy through your energy system in order to shift any negative energy, have any become aware of any blocks and push through them etc that's a nice little kit and it's very you know simple to use 
can be done quietly and discreetly. It can become an important part of daily practice if you wish. Lovely. Lovely. Now I'm I do have a established daily spiritual practice which is witchcraft orientated but it still means that I am doing cleansing work and grounding work every day um, and healing work as well um, every day on myself before I actually start doing any other work magically or energetically or otherwise so that I can be the best sort of person I can be for that day. So yeah, that, that something like this could quite easily become part of your clean, daily cleansing practice or twice daily cleansing practice, however often you wanted to do it, quite easily. So next up, we have cleansing essentials in a little box. I've got a witch's hat on this one. So what's in here then? Is this a slide out? Looks like it. Oh, so this is a um, looks like a for, for portability's sake. So we have a tea light candle, always useful. I see a lot of witches talking about candles at the moment, and you know my favourite candles for spell work. There's two forms. One is tea light candle, and the other form is a birthday candle because they are accessible and inexpensive. However. Um, you know, there is a time and a place for non-paraffin candles, for candles that are made from things like soya wax or coconut wax or anything like that. Um, and for scented candles and, and such like. I myself like to burn my scented candles around the house and I do tend to use more practical candles for my witchcraft, but that's just me. You know, I've got each to their own. We then have... I want to say it's paper, a twist of paper, and what looks like black salt. A piece of black tourmaline. So black salt is uh, very protective and it is also used for removing hexes, curses, bindings, banishings, um, cleansing a space, negative energies, negative entities, um, any uh, cleansing, cleaning up after demonic work, after um, use of Ouija boards, ghost spirits, those sorts of things. Fantastic. You can make this yourself. It is quite easy to make, um, but it's nice that there's a small sampling of it in this kit that's lovely and I like the fact that they have included it because not a lot of people think about black salt when it comes to cleansing essentials when actually it is really 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 useful so there's that there's this piece of black tourmaline it's obviously black tourmaline um it's also known as shawl um I quite like it it's one of my favorite stones and this is fantastic for cleansing energies of a space and also Soaking up negative energies, I have a massive piece of black tourmaline in front of my computer to help soak up the electromagnetic energies from that. But I also have black tourmaline dotted about the house. If you do any warding work, if you, or if you prefer to ward your space rather than cast circle, then black tourmaline is my go-to crystal recommendation. Um, you don't need a lot of it, as is evidenced. And it also makes a fantastic crystal elixir or crystal essence, which has got lots of purifying and cleansing properties. Now this, I'm not quite sure what this is, I'll admit. So I'm going to check the box, which does actually have information in it. So there we have the information about black salt and the white spell candle, the black tourmaline crystal and frankincense rope incense. Frankincense is a great purifier and also aims at grounding and spiritual connection. Yes, it's, it, frankincense is one of my go-tos. I can actually smell it faintly on this. So I, I guess this would be a case of, you know, you light it, you let it burn. It's a nice little travel kit. Um, 
a really nice little travel kit. I don't know, I don't know how it would go on a plane. Not that we're worrying over much about that sort of travel at the moment, but it is certainly, you know, a nice little kit to slip into an overnight bag or a suitcase or something like that. I could have done with something like this when I was in hospital recently. Um, I ended up making my own sort of uh, cleansing kit and protecting kit, um, which I'm going to share about in a different video or a blog post or something at some point. Um, but yeah, nice little kit. It's about the size, I would say, of two matchboxes, so it's not huge, which is perfect, you know, for slipping into a pocket or whatever. Fantastic. So then we have an incense disc. So we've got holes for your sticks and also a spot for your incense cones. So this is where you could pop your cones from earlier. Now, I'm old school. I was having this conversation with my husband the other night because we were watching TikTok and somebody had a backflow incense burner on TikTok using incense cones. And I was absolutely fascinated. So was my husband. And I had never seen one in action before. So that led me down a rabbit warren of Google searches. And I am now absolutely fascinated with the idea of a backflow cone burner um or cone or holder i guess it would be because it doesn't actually burn does it um these are regular incense cones the old style that i'm used to where you just light the tip and you you set it in and it just offers smoke to the atmosphere um, and doesn't push it down through the center of the cone and out in a very creative fashion like the backflow ones do that are a more recent invention maybe don't know um but yeah fantastic i like the fact that they do things like this in witch casket excuse me they will often um you know include something and you're like great but i don't have a holder for that or i don't have uh whatever it is that will go with it like you know a few months ago we got a um pendulum mat for divination and i was like I do have pendulums, I've no idea where they are. And then later on in the box, there was a pendulum. You know, there was a guide to runes in the sun box recently. And then, lo and behold, there was a set of actual runes on little pebbles, uh, little pieces of um, black onyx, I think it was. Um, or black black agate, black agate, um, that appeared later on in the box. So this is always fascinating to me, the fact that, you know, they do think about these things. You know, they think, well, you know, we are going to include incense, but what happens if someone doesn't have a holder? Or we are going to include a set of runes, but what happens if someone doesn't know how to read them? We'll include an information guide, things like that. I like the fact that this is a company that thinks about that. It's got witches in its team. You know, all the spells and such like are created by practicing witches. So I always know that something good is going to come from these boxes. Oh, fab. Right. Silver Pentacle Altar Bell. Very nice. Use the bell's clear vibrations to cleanse your magical space and banish negative, unwanted or stagnant energies. I used to have an altar bell a long, long time ago and it does have on it a little... Um, pentacle on it you can also see a reflection of the room if you look hard enough there we go um but i used to have an altar bell and i let it move on because it wasn't part of my spiritual practice at the time um and more recently i've been thinking gonna have to get a bell because i could do with a bell occasionally um to denote a shift in energies when i'm working or Clean, help cleanse a space because you know you can use sound and it's got a really nice tone to it so you can use sound or you can use uh, incense you can use um, scent you can use the elements you know there's so many ways you can you can clear a space or clean, cleanse yourself so this is a great uh, addition to the box most welcome 
and it's a nice size too you know it's it's pocket sized mine was the, the one that i used to have that i then let move on was absolutely huge it wouldn't have fit in this box for example it was massive and it was really overkill but i found it in a charity thrift shop um at some point and i brought it home and cleansed it and used it for five six years and then my practice moved in a direction that meant i wasn't using it as much so i let it move on to someone who did need it um but um in more recent years i've been like hmm this is where a, a bell would be helpful so i have a new one thank you witch casket so now we have an essential oil i love these because they're either uh, an essential oil blend uh, in a bottle where you can just add it to your oil burner or such like, or it's a roll-on, which you can use like a perfume. And I use both of those quite a lot. I am a qualified aromatherapist amongst everything else. Um, so I, I am capable of, and I do make my own blends. But again, sometimes it's really useful to see someone else's take on a blend combination and also to just have something ready made for you when you're on a day when your energy is not great you only need a little of something you're exhausted you're in a rush whatever so this is a less stress blend perfect timing in the middle of a pandemic we all need this and this is lemon clary sage and lavender this is going to be a really nice combination i will tell you that now because we've got the um soporific relaxing qualities of lavender we've got the uplifting qualities of the lemon in the citrus there and we've got clary sage which is a nice floral grounding uh, oil which not a lot of people like you know it's got this floral herbaceous um scent to it some people find it more herby some people find it more um floral other people find it uh more earthy it's one of those weird blends i know that for some people it brings out headaches so you know and there's off uh, there's um contraindications for this uh these oils in pregnancy as well but um and a whole host of other conditions which i can't remember off the top of my head but yes um and such like but it is a nice blend for if you are stressy and need to relax and you know, I would be happy to put this in my oil burner or in my bath or whatever. Um, don't use neat on the skin. Always dilute down into um, your carrier oil of choice, which can be, you know, grape seed, coconut, um, walnut, avocado, whatever is your predilection. But this is a nice combination of oils. And I can see myself burning some of this later on this week because I have got a couple of projects that might make the stress thing a bit more intense. So we'll see. But that's a nice oil blend to have. I'll just have a rummage. And I think the last thing in here is the scroll that you get every month. These little chips, by the way, compostable. And then we have the fantastic witch casket scroll which will always contain information about the theme of the box and i can never get these open because i have very short nails so please don't do this at home please take care with uh, knives and athames and such like and these scrolls i i scan them into my computer so that i've got an electronic copy but i also pop in my uh, book of shadows um, just for reference so here we go magical ways to cleanse your space just exactly what i was talking about all the different ways that you can do it so we have got light Oops. we have got light we have got water we've got smoke cleansing sound salt and crystals all of which are valid there are other methods as well one of my favorites is um vibrational essences um but yeah, and I like the way that they have mentioned smoke cleansing rather than saying smudging. They have been very aware of the current controversy regarding smudging. So that's that's fantastic. Um, you know, you can use a lemon in the corner, you know, a chopped up lemon in the corner of your room. You can use 
garlic you can use all kinds of things you know because our ancestors you know they wouldn't have been like you know even even you know in the generation before me my ancestors wouldn't have been like oh i need to cleanse a room i need to buy some black tourmaline they would have been like right okay i need to cleanse what have I got to hand? I've got salt to hand. I've got vinegar to hand. I've got a lemon to hand. I've got an egg. I've got an onion. You know, it would, it, you know, it, it would have been very much a case of clapping their hands, beating the back of a saucepan, things like that. Um, it's only in more recent years when things like black tourmaline or um, uh, smoky quartz or other cleansing stones have been more available to us that these things have become in use um but you know the the good old-fashioned you know light a candle use use water um you can use moon water you could use sun water you could use any kind of empowered blessed water you could use salted water you could use any kind of herbal infusions etc bunch of, of um rosemary grabbed from the garden you know anything like that fantastic um yeah great guide great guide so all in all this is a fantastic box once again from witch casket i'm very grateful for the fact that it's cleansing as a theme because you know it, previous months have been i've as i've mentioned moon and sun magic we've had healing magic recently as well which has been highly appropriate from the middle of a pandemic but i also like the idea of cleansing because you know, so many people who get interested in witchcraft and the occult and stuff don't actually do much cleansing work. They forget to cleanse their tarot decks or whatever. They forget to cleanse their ritual tools themselves. Um, all of those sorts of things in the same way that a lot of practitioners don't actually remember to ground. Now, there's loads of practitioners who conversely also do all of those things. We remember to ground, we remember to cleanse, remember to protect ourselves, remember to use methods appropriate to whatever the working is that we're doing. Um, but stuff like this, this box, absolutely brilliant for encouraging a regular cleansing practice and also encouraging ourselves to think more about the art of cleansing both for ritual and in daily life as well, because, you know, it's not just before we use magic that we need to cleanse. It's everything. You know, you have a a disgruntled conversation with somebody online, on social media. Things might have got a bit heated or you end up having a conversation with the neighbour. So, you know, socially distanced or whatever. And there's a lot of blame and division going on right now. And all of that carries an energetic cost. All of it does. You know, we all know when we've walked into an atmosphere where somebody's been arguing. We all know when we see that one friend that we have and we come home and we're absolutely exhausted. You know, all these things need need cleansing and, and proper care, you know, of, of our energetic bodies, our um, emotional bodies, our spiritual bodies, our mental bodies, etc. Um, so just having a quick look through the booklet now here it is september's witch casket one of the most important things we can do to move ne negative or stagnant energy is to create a fresh cleansed and relaxed space yes and a little note to say thank you i always love the fact that they say thank you in every booklet um they're really um grateful for their fan base and their customers which is fabulous and the october casket and then cleansing essentials box which is an exclusive so many of these things tends to be exclusive information on what was in the box the curiosities pouch uh, then we have the recharging crystal point set the pre-ritual cleansing kit the black candle enamel pin. Though part of me wants to giggle about this and go all hocus pocus, you know, virgin lit the black flame candle and all of that. Um, I do love enamel pins though, even ones that could be seen as tongue in cheek. Um, or, you know, outright calling out 
various cultures that we don't like. Um, but yeah, fantastic. Magical Ways to Cleanse Your Space, Parchment Scroll, Altar Bell, Incense Burner, Course with the Pentacle, which is a symbol of protection anyway. Um, the Loose Leaf Tea, as I said earlier, these ingredients are not necessarily the ingredients that are in the tea. There was a mistake in the printing of this booklet. So if you're a subscriber, do go back and check the ingredients as was given in the email that went out shortly after the um, boxes shipped. I can't remember off the top of my head what the ingredients are, the actual, the new ones are. Um, but, you know, if you're a subscriber, you should have received that email. And if not, then please contact Witch Casket. Um, there's your essential oil blend and your A6 art print information. Fantastic. What a box. Very, very grateful once again to Witch Casket for creating this fantastic box. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, share, um, comment below if you've got any questions or want to see me tackle anything in particular in future. And thank you for watching my video. Take care and many blessings. Bye.